wanted to do is to create a path to the seven zip. Okay. Okay, so now we can do it. CD. Oh, CD. Install. Now let's do. So now you see the install ESD. So now what we need to do is to just type 7z.exe x t tar t xr. Okay, so it's done. You to go to the folder, cd, install, and EIR. So now we're going to type 7z.exe minus t e minus T DMG star dot DMG space star HFS it's done we can check content Share support. So we got it here. So what we need to do now, let's see if we can use a 7 zip to extract to 5. Okay. Now we can do this one with the Windows environment instead of a CMD that we couldn't do before okay so now we're here we need to extract this guy again in order to extract the base system DMG to the HFS what we need to do is to use the uh, command again it will be the same 7z.exe e minus tdmg now we cannot use the asterisk anymore because they have the apple diagnostics in there too so use base system.dmg star.hfs okay even z not 7x okay so we're gonna get the hfs out so you look right there there's four HFS that's what we need we need this for HFS and the, uh, the uh, package we can create and the code folder so we can create our bootable El Capitan USB 